Hi there, I'm Scott Lowe with Actual Type Media, and I'm here today with Ben Sigelman, who is the co-founder and CEO of Lifestep. Ben, thank you for having us in your offices My today. Yeah. So on the board, we have the beginnings of an architectural diagram for the product you sell. So tell us what we're looking at and how it works. Great. Uh, so this is the beginnings, and I've left out the, the kicker. So, so let me talk about the systems that we typically observe. So the, our customers typically run in AWS or GCP or Azure, and sometimes they have bare metal data centers as well. Some of them are processing payments and have PCI requirements and so on. But they always have some kind of monolith. That's there. They always have some kind of database. Sometimes it's you know a scalable database, a NoSQL database, but they have some kind of database. And then they have uh, some number of microservices, and you know it vary, the number varies from five to you know a couple thousand in the high end. And these things are all communicating, and there's a great deal of confusion. And so that's usually where Lightstep steps in. We help them understand what's going on in that system and to root cause things quickly. Uh, now, architecturally, uh, people perceive Lightstep as a SaaS. They certainly go to our SaaS to, uh, you know, participate in using the product, and it has the benefits of SaaS in that, uh, you know, they don't need to maintain and operate this complex system inside. However, if we sent, like Lyft, for instance, is a customer of ours, if they sent all of their data to us, they're sending us um, a couple hundred billion events per day, which is really a lot, even by you know, computer standards. And the network egress that they would pay to Amazon to send us that data would be, be tens of millions of dollars a, a month. Um, it's just completely out of the question. So, uh, so what you would want to do to make this as easy as possible is say, oh, whatever, we'll just send all this data all the way to the SaaS. It's a complete non-starter at the scale that we operate at. Um, when we built similar systems at Google, we solved this problem by just saying, you know what, this is too much data. So I built a system called Dapper, and what we did there was to say, we're only going to send one of every 10,000 transactions, which is, you know, obviously saves a lot of data. Unfortunately, there might be something interesting in the 9,999 that you drop. And so that approach to sampling has a lot of drawbacks. It, it, is a, it is a reasonable way to cut the data down, but it really limits the functionality of the product that you can deliver. So what we've done with Lightstep, which I think is pretty unusual, is to have what we call a satellite architecture. So we have these things that are horizontally scalable. They run in the customer's own VPC. It's not an agent. It doesn't run on the same VM that the customer services run on, but it runs in the same network region, which means that you don't pay Amazon or Google or your, you know, the, the switches don't get overloaded basically. So all the data without any sampling from all these different places goes into the satellites. And again, they scale horizontally, they use every byte of memory that you give them, and they run really hot, but they run on their own VMs. And then the satellites communicate continuously and bi-directionally with the SaaS. So every second, their messages going back and forth. And if you use the product, a lot of the features that we are offering the product, like you know, simple things like autocomplete down to very complex things like automatic, automatic analysis and assembly of, of distributed transaction traces that, that you know, cut all the way across the system, all the way into the database layer and back up, and into mobile apps, all that happens in a bi-directional path between the satellites, the SaaS, back to the satellites, back to the SaaS. And so there's a ton of activity here. But the total amount of data going from the system to the satellites, this is you know, many orders of magnitude more data than the data that goes over here. We can be very careful about the statistics we send and the way we sample so that the amount of data here is, is cost efficient, uh, but we have the benefit of 100% of the data. So this is a really unusual architecture, and almost everything about Lightstep that we sell and that gets people excited is only possible because of this. It allows us to look back in time, uh, and if there's even one transaction out of 100 billion that's slow, we can get it, we can understand why it was slow, get everything that it touched above and below in this architecture, get it into the SaaS, and record it forever. And that capability is only possible because of the satellite architecture. So is the satellite architecture basically doing some analysis to determine where there's exceptions, and that's the way we're here to understand why there's an exception of some, and so, of some kind? Yeah, so we're, con we're continuously building really detailed distributions of statistical distributions that model things like performance and error rates across every facet of these systems. And that can be both about a single service, but it can even be about like a big customer. Like Twilio is another one of our customers. They have about a million accounts about 100 of those generate most of the revenue. So those 100 accounts are really important. And in fact, the satellites are developing statistical models of those top 100 accounts all the time. And so if there's an anomaly that affects WhatsApp or something, I don't even know if that's a Twilio customer, but let's say that WhatsApp is a big customer, uh, then 
Twilio will discover that anomaly via these satellites and will record it. So we can focus on incredibly granular things because we have all the data to start with and filter from. So if I'm a customer, when I buy LifeStep, I just deploy, do I deploy myself? But you have a SaaS piece. Is there two, there's two pieces. So basically, it's not an agent, but it's, yeah. act, it's acting the role of a proxy agent. And then you have the other piece over here. We have a number of operational models in terms of how these are run and maintained. The objective is for them just to be trivially load balanced based on that load, really. So they scale horizontally, and it's not something that our customers spend a lot of time thinking about. But, they, um, but they're designed to, to be a set up and forget it type of thing. Uh, and, and the SaaS, of course, is a SaaS, and customers don't have to do anything on that side. Right. Yeah. Ben, thank you very much. My pleasure. And thank you to our audience for watching this Roadcast video. 